I randomly found this post on X. It's from Paul Gosnell and he introduces a visual builder for websites. So basically not for websites, but for creating prompts, which you can use for Bold, Bold.diy, and Lovable and any other tools to create your website. So let's just take a look at it. And at the end, you decide if it is good or not. Let's see. This is the web app. On the left side, you can see different categories. We go through step by step to create a prompt for our project. So I filled out already a project and company. We want to create a smart home dashboard. In this case, for description, advanced, highly modern, futuristic, fancy dashboard for managing my smart home. The next step is to select a category. In this case, let's choose web app here, or we can choose dashboard here. And then in the subcategory, we use IoT dashboard. You get here on the right side, right side, a live preview of all the stuff, how it maybe looks like, and we continue to the layout. Now you can choose the column layout. So which one you prefer, you can see a preview on the right side, how it looks. And we choose single column layout in this case. And we want a header. Yes. Complex header. Got some information here as well. And we also want a footer. Let's do a simple in this case. Then we go over to the design system. So there are a few available, I guess in the future, there are maybe more available. This is just a beta, a test of it. He maybe will launch it with more options than later. Let's choose the last option here, Neuformism and Vibrant Creative Color Scheme. And we choose the Poppins font. And then we go over to the visuals where we can choose the icon styles. I go with the gradient icons. You can also choose some of the others. And we want to have some isometric three-dimensional illustrations with depth. You could also hand draw stuff and other things here as well. We continue to functionality and we want to get, um, let's go with advanced in this case. And for the technical requirements, we go responsive. Yes, dark mode, yes, accessibility and SEO. We leave out API integration and analytics for now. And for custom features, let's try something advanced. Um, create a stage where um, 3D canvas is shown. It shows a 3D house where and the user can interact with it. Let's put add. So you can, can do any other additional features here as you want. Just write it down and we go over to the summary. Now you got here, you're ready to use prompt. You can copy it or you can use it directly in bold.diy. So as I said, we want to try out bold.new, bold.diy and lovable. So we start with bold.new. Just click the button and it automatically, if you're already, already logged in, will start the implementation. So we don't have to wait. We can directly copy the prompt, go to Lovable and fire the same prompt. And we do the same for bold.diy. Um, we have to choose a model here. So it highly depends as always in bold.diy which model you choose. Today I want to choose Google with Gemini 2.5 flash preview and we go with it. Let's go back to bold.new and see the state. It's still implementing. So let's wait them all to finish. Okay, bold.diy finished implementing and that's the result. So it's not, not looking that bad. So it's definitely a status where we can work with it and iterate over it. Here are some, this looks a little bit buggy, but I guess we could fix this with another prompt pretty easy. These models are also working, not everything working here, but at all, it's not looking that bad for our first draft. The 3D canvas is also working. The house is not working good, but you can also click here on the different elements and you can see it switches here on the bottom, the room. So if you implement a proper floor plan or whatever, you could make this work as well. 
yeah, just looks pretty good to me. Let's go over to lovable.dev and see how it is looking there. It's also finished. It's a little bit darker in this case. The 3D canvas is also there and also working. It's also changing the rooms here and clicking it. Let's scroll a little bit down. Is the sliders working? Okay, energy usage, we don't have data. Toggle working. Yeah, it's also not bad for a first draft. Okay, Bolter DIY now also finished. Please note, I changed the model to Anthropic Cloud 3.7 because Google did not work the preview model for me. Maybe about quotas because I tested a lot today. Anyway, the video is not about the models and with Anthropic it worked quite fine. As you can see here, we got also a dashboard here. Dark mode is working. Let's see if the 3D canvas also working. Yes, and it's looks a little bit better than the other ones more like a floor plan it's also switching here are the buttons depending on which room i click let's scroll a bit down we got this boxes here as well but no controls so far as on the others but we could iterate on this as well in a next step looks also not bad in my view okay this was everything i wanted to show you in this quick video because I thought it's very interesting. I checked it out today and played a little bit around. Yeah, maybe you want to do the same and let me know in the comments what you think about this tool. Maybe that's something we need in Bolter DIY natively and should implement it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I link everything below so you can check it out. See you in the next one. Bye.